This is a gun I built to test my idea for a single action barrel sealing piston valve. In this video I'll show you how to build one and the theory of operation. You can see a video of the gun in action by clicking the link that is appearing on your screen now. Alright, the first step is to take a 1 inch to 1 half inch reducer fitting and remove the ridge that prevents the half inch pipe from sliding all the way through the reducer. This is easily accomplished with a small pocket knife blade. Now the half inch pipe, which is going to be the barrel, can slide through the reducer fitting. Next we'll fabricate the piston from a piece of 3 quarter inch PVC pipe, which happens to fit snugly into a 1 inch Schedule 40 pipe. I chalked a short piece of 3 quarter inch pipe into my drill and sanded the walls down a bit. Now the piston can slide freely inside the 1 inch pipe. Then I stood the piston up on a smooth glass surface and poured molten hot melt glue into it. The piston is now complete with the seal. The piston and the barrel come together inside this T. Air pressure holds the piston against the barrel, sealing it off. When the pressure is dumped on this side of the T, the piston flies back. That opens the barrel and allows the pressurized air in the reservoir at the bottom of the T to escape, propelling the projectile down the barrel. This end of the T is finished with a screw-on cap and a fitting for flexible air hose. For the trigger, I'm using a blowgun tool. The pressure chamber goes on this end of the T. This is just 1 inch Schedule 40 pipe and fittings, which I shaped to look something like a gun stock. The end is fitted with an air compressor quick release coupler. I drilled a hole in the top of the barrel and added a T and some pipe to make this pump action loader. I can use this bit of pipe as a magazine, fill it up with marshmallows or marbles, and shoot as fast as I can rack the action. The big contribution to airgun technology that this prototype represents is the single action mechanism. All of the piston valve guns that I have seen are pressurized and triggered through this end of the receiver. This requires a separate valve to turn off the flow from the air compressor before the piston can be triggered. Then the pressure has to be turned back on to charge the gun for the next shot. My single action mechanism is pressurized through the pressure chamber, so there's no need to cut the flow from the compressor. However, with the intake removed from behind the piston, you'll need a simple $1 spring from the hardware store to push the piston back to the closed position after firing. The biggest benefit of my single action design is that the gun will fire as fast as you can pull the trigger. Okay, that covers the method and theory. You can experience this gun's awesomeness by clicking the link that you see on your screen now.